Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Sessa here, bringing you guys one of the most requested videos pretty much really consistently and I really enjoy it. Redesigning your PSDs with me. So we have two really dope posters to go ahead and redesign. Today we have a messy poster alongside the Clash of Clans poster, but we're gonna go ahead and start off with the messy poster, which happens to be the goat or the second goat or the, the first goat. I don't know, is this a tricky question? Also for the record, I know a lot of you guys were saying that it was definitely definitely soccer so i'm gonna make sure i say soccer in this video anyway though let me just really quickly introduce some of the ideas that i want to bring to this poster designed by jay-z Iko. in this post we're gonna make sure the actual trophy and messy itself kind of feel a little more intact and kind of not so separated right also shadows in the feet because i know you need help with that Near the top side of the actual poster where it says leo messi for the record do people even say leo messi i, I don't really know i don't watch soccer that much so besides the composition changes we have a pretty solid poster to work off of so let's just get it started So first we're gonna need assets, right? I went ahead and picked up these three messy photos, three stadium photos. I found a really good photo of the trophy. And honestly, I'm hoping that's all I really need. I also found them all on Google. Don't forget the trick is you type in your little typey typey, you head over to tools, you head over to size and you pick large. That's all I did. Now I'm actually curious if you guys got to choose, right? Are you picking one, two or three? I'm probably gonna go with number two. I love the action photo and the actual like, you know, soccer ball being in there, but we can also put a soccer ball if we want to. I really just enjoy this because it's just like super just, like widespread. We can put the trophies right behind them, right? But then this one over here is just like a really nice happy one, but I'm not like pleased with the quality. So we're gonna go with this guy, I think. All right, so now that I got this like nice broad cutout, we're just gonna fix this little fringing stuff by going over here, double clicking, select and mask, take our shift edge more to the left, put the contrast up, maybe a tiny bit of smooth, and then press okay. Okay, so next you have to choose a stadium. So I'm probably just gonna go with uh, maybe this guy. Also really quick while I cut this out is Messi or Ronaldo the GOAT. Like as a new fan, the first World Cup I watched, Messi won, so like, I, you know, it's good. This one could be kind of sick, right? If I put that back there like that, right? Right, and then put like like Messi right at the top. Uh oh. Or is it this guy? Because it fills more of the screen, right? On, on top, right? I don't, I don't really know. I think I'm gonna move forward with this one first. And now for the final asset that we're missing is this trophy, right? So I'm gonna throw this one in here too. And also I'm gonna figure out a way to hopefully place his white background in as well, or white flooring that makes sense too. All right, I might be onto something with this flooring. So with adding in the text, I'm finding myself probably in the same situation that he had here, where the, the actual spacing of the, the words Lionel Messi are not kind of like lining up and giving you enough breathing room. Like if you kind of like just kind of take your eye and just look at this, it feels a lot better if I do something like this, right? It gives it more breathing room, makes more sense. So I'm asking myself, does this work enough for me or do I want to stretch this out to make it even on all sides? I'm not too sure. Either way, one thing I know for certain is that we need to go into the actual photos and color correct them because Lord knows it's just not working out right now. And boom, right? It looks way better. Of course, the one, one thing I want to kind of just point out for the trick is when you guys go into this really quick, the difference it makes when you actually take your saturations and lower the colors that definitely don't look pleasing. So the yellow I took out, the uh, what you call it, the greens I took out. And of course, I upped the actual blues. That way it looked a little bit more cleaner. So when you come outside of it, it does look a lot more cleaner than if it, you know, if, if it wasn't there, right? I'm just looking at this right now and I actually moved this square right down a little bit to kind of see and it lined up perfectly with this. It made sense to me and I kind of said I want to possibly get rid of this. And I also said I possibly want to see it look like black like this. There's a lot of things we can do. We have to at least make sure we maintain that square composition that he had. Otherwise, it's going to be a completely different design. I know you guys keep calling me out on it, so I'm going to try my best. This piece feels right. It doesn't feel thought out yet, though, right? It just looks like a block. And I don't know if I enjoy that. And also this interaction does feel good, but how do I make this more purposeful? And do I actually want it to feel like a standing stadium? I'm not too sure. Like I can go over here, make a new layer, take a black, come over here, and then just kind of like try to work with a shadow over here, right? It looks good, kinda. Either way, it's gonna be shadow time. Let's make a duplicate. Let's take this guy. Let's also make him pure black right away, just like so. Okay, boom, bang. Are we using distort or perspective? Not perspective, actually. Regular free transform works. I'm gonna hold control, select this middle piece here, and just give it a quick little, just sort of like something like this might make sense, right? Because that looks good. And I'm just questioning if I were to take this like quickly and just add my own little like line going this way. Do we get something okay? I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna go ahead and continue with that for a second. I'm gonna lower this down as well, just like so, okay. 
Then what I'm also gonna do is make a new layer, take this ne the next brush, I'm gonna take this opacity, put it down to like 50%, come really close into here, soft brush, and just go right along the edges and make sure it's nice and dark, right? Because no matter what, the darkest point of a shadow will be at its feet. So this will work for us very nicely. So now that I have the feet kind of figured, I'm gonna make another new layer, take another brush, I'm gonna use a nice little shadow brush here, and I'm just gonna click right below the foot, just like so, I'm gonna do another click right on the inside. This one right here is not fully on the ground, so I actually might just say a little bit of like a, a nice little thing right down below it, kind of add that, the idea of like the distance between the foot being on the floor and the distance being, you know, the foot actually being here, right? Then I'll go ahead and go over to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, Add a little bit of Gaussian blur as well. A three should work. A little bit past a little bit more though. And now the way I'm gonna really sell this is I'm gonna go into the picture, uh, make a new layer above it, clip mask a picture to it, take another brush, right? A, reg a regular brush, about 40% opacity on the brush. Just go around and just get around this shoe and add a little bit of shadow to the shoe. Okay, what if I took an audible though and just put it behind him like this? Thoughts? I think we go with that shadow there. Let's also add the shadow to the trophy as well. So I'm actually gonna take his little white cloud over here as well for his asset. Use the same exact asset to kind of, maybe I kind of want to hide what's going on here in this, like this foreground bit just a little bit. So before I do any other texturing, I need to do a quick little research, right? And what the research is for is for this flag here. I want to basically just kind of texturize the document a little bit more with the actual flag, right? Just boom, boom, a little more texture, right? It seems like he is also number 10. So we're gonna put the number 10 in there as well. 2022 World Cup uh, Qatar. I wanna make sure I spell this right. Like boom, like this. I might be even add it over here as well, to be fair. Something like this could work too. And I'm wondering if you guys are thinking the same thing, but do I make this blue here like this blue? Does that kind of soften it up? Ooh, maybe messy now can be gold. Oh, maybe the subtext can be green. Okay, we're adding too many colors. Okay, regardless though, I do kind of like the gold though. That really does help sing, uh, make the poster actually sing a little bit better. And I'm also wondering, do I want to like go from end to end of the square? Does that, will that help me fill space a little bit more? At this point, the only thing we're really missing is like the graffiti-esque like noisy texture. And I got the perfect thing for that. You know, I just came out with a bitmap texture, little self plug here, but this might be kind of perfect for this to be fair. I mean, that looks super sexy just overall, but we gotta kind of make sure we lower it a little bit too though. Now, of course, it's a little bit too harsh on the overall like foreground of it, but I'm gonna take this, put the little like a little, uh, what do you call this? Uh, layer mask on it. I'll say 70% opacity. I just kind of wave through this a few times so that we can retain some of the actual overall texture, but get rid of it on the places that we don't want it. I do want to say though, now we revisit the stadium for a second. I do like the goal, but I wonder if I lower it down just the tiniest bit, will it match his composition a little bit more better, but also give us that just a little bit of sexiness and subtleness that we need in the background. I low key, I think it did. I will say the only thing I feel like we're missing is this blue kind of stuff going around here. I don't know if I need it, in this concept though. Wait, I actually might have the best idea for this. For that blue, I can use another one of these. I'm not gonna do it on purpose, but it makes sense. I'm gonna take another one of these bitmap textures, okay? I'm gonna take this guy. We don't actually have to make it too big just yet. So I'm gonna make over here a, a little gradient map, Comb uh, combine this, let's do black on this side, and we'll do the color of blue on this side, something like this. Then I'll go into blending options here and take this and just lower this a little bit for a second. Now I'm gonna race a little bit, but I'm gonna put, come in and add these little nice blue hits with that gradient. Maybe I can add that blue in here in a little more like methodical way. I think that's it. I think that little blue hit right there kind of added in that blue nice and subtle, didn't ruin too much in my opinion either. Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna say this is the actual final. I'm gonna now compare, of course, my console along with JC Ico's. Let's see what we got going on. I wanted to make sure that the actual kind of trophy and the actual player itself kind of made kind of that, just kind of a little more connection to it. I think, of course, we liked a little bit of typography over here on the top hand side. So, of course, I kind of use a roughly the same around the same font at least, but also add a little bit of subtext. Made sure our guy Messi had the nice little color correction on him as well. And then, of course, add that bitmap texture you can find on selfie.com slash but yeah, that's it. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know. But yeah, let's just go ahead and hop into the next one. But you guys, just let me, how are you feeling it? How you, are you feeling it? So the next project we have is by Moons. And we, it looks like we have, like, like I said, a Clash of Clans poster here. And I actually don't even know what we're going to do yet because I don't even really know what's going on really. And that might be the problem. 
so just taking a look i think we have a lot of color correction issues where i think everything is like too red where when you have red in your mind to use as a color you don't have to use it for literally every single piece and not every single piece has to be that that's where i feel like we're missing we have a bit of like a gradient or a sort of like color masking going on that might be a little bit too second thought-ish right where it might be a scenario where we're trying to add more effects to something like that but let's just see what we got we might have to just like deconstruct this even see what we have going on here all right so from the looks of it this guy muns is actually a pretty good munes months i'm sorry for the record this guy does a pretty good job at asset gathering i can't lie i'm seeing a lot of like smart objects meaning these are really high quality uh the logo is a little bit choppy but it's okay but this really cool asset here i don't know he kind of set us up pretty well and i i think his issue just strictly was too much red so we're gonna try to figure that much out and let's put this in a little composition give us like it's a little head start we have that in there let's put in our actual little characters which are really freaking cool too by the way now one thing that i'm immediately noticing right now is do i actually want this logo to be like the front and center because realistically although the tournament logo is pretty important it's it's a little busy for one but also the second time it's just a logo supporting the game of clash of clans so i'm wondering if the clash of clans logo should be what's like really highlighted and big and then the actual like you know tournament logo is a little bit more smaller that way it gives us more room and play to actually like, kind of move around the canvas a little bit more right we have the coming soon text so we have to of course put in two and that might actually be, uh, might actually be pretty helpful well, i don't know <laughs> just switch accents but might actually be pretty helpful right okay let's see we have two other things here i'm guessing is this where like the verses are is this the two teams this cast yap gaming and crash esports i'm guessing these are the two teams that are facing each other so i wonder if there's a world we want to also highlight the fact that it's versus like you know i didn't even realize until just now like that these are two really really far things it seems like a very second last thing you want to read which i almost think in this case is it the first thing we want to kind of see so with a quick google i'm not really finding too much about the team themselves so maybe that's the reason that they didn't like he didn't put it so front and center so i can kind of see maybe the reason because of that but I wonder if there's a, just a tiny bit of something that we can do. The one thing I also want to do as well is I kind of like this color of the background here, but I don't know if it'll work without having so much red. Okay, so we have we have something like this, which is not bad whatsoever in my opinion. I love the I love the sound of dark the darkness of it, right? Maybe something with a little more pigment like this, kind of bring this up a little bit and kind of just really mess with this. We have to mess with the red somehow because that's the color that he did choose, and we're gonna keep to that. So you guys don't keep calling me out at changing too much but it feels a little elementary with the kind of way that i'm placing the typography itself and the logos i'm trying to figure out if i want to kind of do some kind of like movie-esque poster thing where i kind of keep it here this goes in like the top right corner maybe but then we're like missing a little bit of context for like the overall feeling of this red that's going on here but let's go ahead and also besides like filling the space let's make these shadows really quick for these uh icons and players and that'll really help ground their feet if you look right here at the feet i think it helps ground it actually a little bit more it makes it a little more realistic but um, okay, besides that, right, we have this this little coming soon here. We have this little placement there as well. Let's go in and add, I think he had a few little things, right? He had this little lightning bolt, which I'm not really like the biggest fan, but it'll be fine. So maybe something around the logo can also work, something like that. But let's also add some visual interest to the background here. On a new layer, let's just use this kind of red tone that's happening here. And just give ourselves a little bit of like just something, right? We can... We could just give a nice little hit to the background to give it some kind of gradient of some sort. Now, I'm also just feeling, do I want to add a little like glow to this guy's eye over here? Just because I feel like there's a lot of green interest going on over here that kind of brings my eye toward that. So it could be kind of cool to see what I can do with like a, like just some simple glows in the eyes of this like skull over here. Even if it's a little subtle like that, that might actually be better than this glowing kind of going on here. Because then I feel like then it looks a little bit more appropriate. Overall, this logo I really want to put here, I just, I just don't know. It doesn't make much sense yet unless he put some kind of like background or something in the uh for the background like some kind of pattern or something like that because what i'm actually thinking now is do i actually take this make some kind of like background or pattern for the actual uh red background that's going on over there and uh maybe it can do something for us maybe like on like a nice black right and then kind of lower the opacity a bit and maybe just maybe instead of like keeping it so like just obvious we maybe like a race around a little bit so i might just kind of le leave it whispering only at the bottom and right at the top it kind of cuts off i, I kind of say that looks pretty good to me so i think for these little names here like i kind of put it to the side for a long time but i think what i might do for this put it over to the side make it nice and small we don't need it to be too big something like this right boom so since there is stars kind of like happening on these like top parts it might be kind of cool to kind of interact these stars with like the text a little bit more something like this or we could even say add these stars as like type texture in a way so we kind of have this little texture going on here it could be kind of cool to put those three stars 
maybe like here as well. At this point, I don't even know if it's even necessary, but I kind of just put it up there. I don't know. I think that'll work best. Let's do a little shadow work on this little portion over here, this little, uh, this crystal over there. I also think the girl should actually be fully below the guy here, just that way she doesn't lose too much. Like the, the hair is kind of messing around the foreground right there. I don't know. I also kind of took away the background for a second. I think it looks pretty good like that. But there's nothing in my body that wants me to also just, I, I wish I could just place this right here and it makes sense. But I do see that's what probably Muns was like kind of getting in the way of is the sword, the asset itself. Even if we move that over here, move this over here on this side, right? Like the, the lady or whatever, it's still going to be in the way. Maybe not as much though. Maybe it can be like a little bit like that. Was the solution just to move these guys? I can kind of leave it something like that. There's a lot that's kind of going on as well. And if this is a little more tinier, like so, it still might work as well, but the whole play is I want to try to like, what can I do to make it as big as it possibly can? And I think this is probably it. Yeah, this Clash of Clan logo can be a little, little bit more smaller. And I think for the final touch, I kind of loved what he did here, but I think the overall idea was a little bit uh, mis-executed. So I'm going to take this though. Now watch this. Now that it's out in a race, I can take this and just add it right here, something like that. Soon, like that. Like, or right here, where you kind of had it. Just because I, I kind of like the little fun little twist on it, adding the logos visuals to the actual design itself. Something like this can work. And we'll just go ahead and just add ourselves a nice little shadow right below it too. And let me just see what this looks like with a nice little blur right on the edges only. And I almost forgot the shadows on his feet here. It kind of it felt way too floaty. Let's kind of fix that for a second with a nice little shadow, just like so. Okay, so I think we can finally now put these two together. So let's put the before and after my concept along with Muse's concept and see what we got going on. Overall, I think the biggest thing we actually did here was actually take his really good source assets and actually put them in the foreground with the really cool clash renders, took away that gradient because I kind of made them very noisy and too messy, allowed the green floor to actually be green and not actually have to be red because then everything's red, right? Giving some of the background its own visual space and also adding a little bit of texture with that very simple flamey fire, whatever thing that's going on back there. And overall, I think it's good. So for an hour, I think we did a pretty, a pretty solid job in my opinion, but hey, with that being said, that's the end of today's video. So let me know which one of your posts were actually your favorite. Was it the actual first one with the uh, messy or is it this one with the Clash of Clans? Either way, don't forget, you can guys go to my Discord, discord.gg slash switchq. Put your PSD in redesigning and you'll also be the next one to be redesigned possibly. However, with that being said, since HQ out, you really got to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Little much love, peace, enjoy your week. Later.